right here is one of my favorite milk substitutes, hemp milk. It's got the omega oils in it for you, so it adds added nutrition. Um, so it's got omega three and six in it. So you know, similar to you know flaxseed. Isn't hemp also one of the like highest sources of protein? It's like it is it's very, one of the best. Very, right? It is one of the highest sources of protein. Okay, sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, this company I particularly like more than the other company, Manitoba Harvest. I like the Living Harvest personally. Um, but their vanilla, their chocolate's excellent, and their original's good too, not too sweet. But uh, that's one of my favorite non-dairy milks. Put it on my cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Shell's favorite, she was saying, is the almond milk down yeah. here. That's so amazing. she just gets the almond uh, original, I assume, or vanilla. I get vanilla. You get the vanilla. I'm a baby. <laughs> Just but the have you tasted one? the chocolate? No. Oh, no. it's amazing. It's really good. Yeah. Is it really good? The yeah. chocolate, it's like Nesquik, but better. Is that right? Nesquik, yeah. I imagine the nuts add the nice, rich creaminess oh, to it, it like you see in regular so milk. So amazing. Which you're used to if you drink regular milk. Yeah. But without the coating at the top of your mouth. Exactly. That's always one thing I hated about milk no. was the coating it would leave coating. at the top of your mouth. It's mucus forming. It's mucus forming, exactly. Yeah. And it was just, that's just really repulsive. Not it's grease, isn't it? <laughs> grease. And there's soy milk is another um, alternative, and rice milk. Soy milk and rice milk, definitely, are, are also out there as alternatives. The only, the only reason milk lasts so long these days is because they pasteurize it, and it's just like, you know, it's dead. Yeah. It's, it's totally dead. I mean, yeah. raw milk only lasts 10 days in your fridge, and it goes off. And yeah. The reason, part of the reason they started pasteurizing milk on those products, too, is just to get a longer shelf life so that they can keep it on the shelf and not have as much loss and make more money. So, dairy industry is kind of evil industry these days. Mm -hmm. The way they treat the cows, the way they yeah. treat the consumers, the way they treat everybody, basically, the farmers. Trust me, we're putting a link to Earthlings on this site. Yeah. <laughs> so people can see it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good, good. This oh, is good. a raw, mostly raw. I'm pretty sure it's all raw, right? Yeah, I think most of the yeah, stuff we have on there is all raw. Yeah, most of the stuff is pretty raw. And, you know, this is a really good raw cereal. And, yeah, like you know, we one. always promote raw stuff and we get it out for you. We get it out of the shadows. Very good cereal. And it contains buckwheat groats, bananas, coconut, agave nectar, strawberries, blueberries, and organic raspberries. Tasty. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> And if you want to talk about, uh, we were talking green earlier, green drinks, this is a raw, like, granola bar type, type thing, and they have, it has, yeah, they have the spirulina bar, and they also have the crystal mana bar, which is like, blue-green algae, again, you're getting a lot of blue-green algae chlorophyll good, goodness yeah. out of this. Um, a little pricey, but, you know, you're paying, you know, you pay, you, yeah, you're paying for your health, and, you know, you, you pay to put money in your your car, gas yeah. in your car every day, and you know, how many of you buy premium fuel for your car, or have to for your car, you know? It's like, I do for my car, and you know, why aren't you putting premium food in your body? It's more important than your car. The car's a material item, and your body, you gotta live with for hopefully another year, 100 years, you know? So, take care of your body. That's right. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Cereal section, as I said before, you guys can all eat any of the cereal that you'd like. As long as it's low in fat and not too much dairy in it, and preferably not any dairy at all. Marcus, as I said earlier, I've been making the raw cereal for him, and he's been on that tangent for a while now. And I think he's going to stick to raw cereal because it's the best for you. <laughs> I like. I did like this one though. So people who are going through their transition. Oh yeah, Hemp Plus was his favorite. You know, like Ryan said earlier, hemp is one of the best things you can have protein-wise as an alternative when you give up eating meat. And your omega oils is and really important. And your omega oils are exactly very important because you're not eating fish and you know, on a vegetarian vegan diet. You're not eating fish where a lot of omega oils come from. So you need to supplement that with like flaxseed, uh, flaxseed oil, hemp, hemp seed, you know, that, that's a good way to get your omega oils without having to eat fish. Obviously, you need the protein too because you're not eating meat, which is a protein for you, but definitely a tough protein to digest. 